morning guys it's thursday morning <clears throat> it's almost lunchtime but uh as promised we got a video here for uh how to restore your uh whether it be headlights tail lights whichever i happen to have a pair of tail lights here that were kind of crusty and faded and uh promised i'd uh, give you my how to how i do it <clears throat> and it seems to work out pretty good for me now we can see that they're uh very dull right now and uh, I think I might have explained this before because I did a bug deflector uh, polycarbonate plastic ABS plastic whatever it is um, these tail lights were sanded with wet sandpaper this is 1000 grit wet and dry sandpaper there you go um, it's sitting on a block here although I didn't use the block very much <clears throat> I did all that uh, actually in the wash tub um, you know slop sink whatever you want to call it and uh, they were washed down real good prior um, they still got some yeah they're still a little wet on the back and they're a little scuffed up but uh, I had fluid film all behind <clears throat> where these tail lights go in so that was kind of on there from uh, previous years so that was cleaned up and uh, after I did all the wet sanding with the 1000 grit I went over them with a gray scotch pad and some Comet or Ajax, whatever you got, household abrasive cleaner. <clears throat> Excuse me, fighting off cold here, guys. Um, so we've got them this far, and the next step is going to be, they're kind of damp. I'm going to take a blowgun to them and uh, try and blow all the water out of them and all that. So I'll put you guys on the stand here once I figure out what the heck I did with it. <clears throat> about that temp in here about 72 and uh, a little over 50 percent humidity i haven't had the heat running very long and it was like 50 in here this morning <clears throat> but uh, i gotta get a little warmer before the paint time you know we're gonna put some clear on these so <clears throat> so that I can actually uh, spray all the sides of them. I might put them on a table like this, I haven't decided yet. So I'm going to do these kind of one at a time just to show you how to. Um, we're going to get some uh, <clears throat> glass cleaner to wipe these off <coughs> after we're all uh, masked up and ready to go. <coughs> As you can see, and it feels freezing cold in here. I'm losing temperature fast. So I've got some three-quarter inch tape here, and uh, basically going to go around and uh, mask off all the plastic on the back.
I always do all my edges and stuff like that first. Some guys are a lot quicker at this than I am, but. And of course, when you're not feeling good, everything seems to be a hassle, so. <coughs> If I get a little over spray on the back of these, it's not really the end of the world, but um, <clears throat> I also don't want any trash blowing out of the back side of these, you know, anything that didn't come off. back a little bit here. <clears throat> Now there's a couple ways you can mask the back of this off. You can just take your two inch tape and uh, <clears throat> just mask them off with that, which may be the uh, way I do this. <clears throat> They're not very wide, so sometimes that's just easier. Sometimes the tape can really be a pain in the ass too, so we'll see how it goes. So you can <clears throat> kind of see the start of how this goes. I'm actually going to shut it off. I'll bring you back when we're, uh, we're ready to wipe them down and uh, get the clear on it. But you see what we're doing here. We're just stacking up the masking tape on them. <clears throat> and again, this is just more or less to keep any uh, stuff that might have not got cleaned up off the backsides. Keep it off of them and make it a little bit neater job. You don't need any dust bunnies flying out when uh, we're trying to spray clear coat.
All right, this is probably gonna take me about 20 minutes to tape these up and I gotta get the heat going. I've already lost five degrees in here in the 10 minutes this has been running. So uh, you get the idea and we'll talk to you in a few. All right guys, these things are uh, pretty much ready to go. I'm just gonna wipe them down with some glass cleaner and then we're gonna put some of this kind on. Right here, adhesion promoter, um, just to play it safe. <clears throat> Help that paint stick a little better. So I actually had to go back over a few spots on these lights uh, with the scuffy pad. Um, they're not perfectly flat and uh, some of the areas where there was a lot of oxidation on them, it actually uh, was looked almost orange peely. So I sanded that a little bit more <clears throat> with that thousand grit wet just to take any, uh, any of that off. And then took the scuff pad um, I'm sure anybody that's ever uh, disassembled a headlight or a tail light has noticed that there's usually raised uh, lettering on them uh, telling you either which side they belong to or uh, the DOT spec on them. And I had to take the scuff pad to those, but I think you can sort of see that um, just to try and get that <clears throat> squared away. So we're done wiping them down. I'll set you back down here so I'm not shaking y'all up. <clears throat> I'll go put some adhesion promoter in the gun. for all my clear. Um, I haven't used this gun for about a week or so now, so I'm itching to play with it some more. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just put that adhesion promoter right in the same cup that I'm going to mix, or put my mixed clear in. you can actually mix that adhesion promoter with clear for flexibility for like bumper covers and stuff like that. And I'm thinking that uh, put a light coat on um, then three to five minutes and apply a second light coat and then 10 minutes before you put the clear on it. So <clears throat> we're going to get the, uh, the mask out here and we're going to go out and uh, we'll show you how to do that part of it. And then we'll let that flash off and we'll go ahead and uh, clear it.
turn you guys back on for coat two. some clear mixed up here we're using the 30 clear <coughs> it's four to one clear medium solid now you probably noticed when I put the uh, adhesion promoter in this cup I didn't strain it um, the caps for these actually have a sieve in them that strains, but uh, I will strain this clear just to be safe. <clears throat> Eventually I'll spring and get the liners in there so you can mix right in the cups. But uh, for now I don't have any, so we'll do it this way. about uh, eight ounces worth of clear <coughs> roughly uh, once the hardener was put in it so without further ado do let's do it while I'm being a smart ass watch me run it on the floor
right, so we'll let that flash and we'll come back and put the second coat on them. All right, last coat. get the gun cleaned up here and uh, we'll let that uh, flash off and we'll show you an after after the uh, fog's out so you can get a little bit better look at it and I think that battery is about to conk out here so I'm going to uh, go ahead and shut you guys down so I'll bring you back in a little bit we'll get this thing charged up all right guys here's your finished product um, I had the infrared lamp on them after they flashed off for about 25 minutes and uh, just trying to get them to cure up because <clears throat> I don't have enough heat to keep it warm in here for very much longer and we're only about 75 in here so I wanted to cure those up pretty quick uh, I got some dust in this one uh, a little bit there and a little bit up there and then there's a hair that came off my sweatshirt right there but no biggie <clears throat> They should look just fine on there, uh, and I can always take a piece of 2000 and nib off that piece of hair real quick. <clears throat> if I would have noticed it while it was still wet, I would have buried it, but uh, it fell in there right at the end, so it was too late to pick at it with a speed clear. So that's, uh, that's it on those, and we'll get those reinstalled tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick uh, how to make your old... Uh, Headlamps, tail lamps, marker lights, whatever. Uh, plastic lenses look better and uh, without having to buy a new one. So take care, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.